morning friends welcome back to my youtube channel medical classes by dr shrinidhi kumar acharya don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also please give your valuable comments and you can also visit my playlist in the playlist i have provided almost all the topics in a very systematic order so that it is very convenient for the study i hope you will make use of it in the last two classes we were discussing about short stature basics of short stature so thereafter we also gone through a case study and today we will after the case study many things are there in your mind so to give the clarification for the same so today we will continue the short stature this will be the theory part of short stature part 3 in between we had a case study so that make you aware of some of the important facts so without wasting the time now we will start with the case studies uh rather so we will start with the theory part continue part of the theory so last class we were discussing about uh two important things so genetic potential of the growth has to be assessed then the present height of the child has to be plotted against the growth chart so so that will give you some of the important ideas so this is what we have discussed that in a male child how to calculate the parental height so next we have to see does the child is growing according to genetic potential or not to to see that we have to Uh, look into the paternal height and as well as maternal height in the male child the formula is mother's height plus father's height plus 13 divided by 2 whereas for the female the mother's height plus father's height minus 13 by 2 so where we are going to plot it actually this particular answer what we get after putting the values on this formula so where we have to go to plot it so where we have to go to plot at the 18th year of the age in the growth chart there is a line showing the 18th year of the age there you have to plot this because hame mother ka height pata hai father ka height pata hai aur uska jo hai mean average hame mila hai usko hame lena hai bachcha 18th year jab hoga to uska maximum height kitna aa sakta hai according to the genetic potential of that particular child so that we have to see therefore this should be plotted at the 18th year maybe presently the child is only 10 year but you have to plot this on the 18th year so why 18th year you have to plot because the growth will be completed by 18 years of the age and this point represent the 50th percentile of that particular family okay therefore it should be plotted in the 18th year when it is abnormal that means if it is more than 10 cm above or 10 cm below the target height then it is considered as abnormal so if the target height uh, suppose the target height is 150 cm so then we have a two options one is plus 10 and minus 10 if it is more than that 10 10 cm more than that so then it may come under the category of tall stature whereas if it is less than 10 cm from the target parental height so then there may be chance chance of a short stature so the wh has got separate chart for the male and female from starting from 5 to 19 year so we have to plot this particular findings in that particular charts if you see the charts for the male the third percentile is around 163 cm in male chart and around at 150 cm for the female chart if you see the wh charts for the males the uh, what you say the third percentile is around 163 cm in the male chart that means short stature mein jo bachcha aayega 163 cm mein jab aayega to aayega and 150 cm for the female so there is a gap of 13 cm so therefore while we are using the uh, while we are taking the parental height in the formula for the female child it is minus 13 there minus 13 for this for the male it is 163 and for the female it is 150 therefore we we are subtracting this 13 so there is a gap of 13 cm so we are subtracting this 13 cm in case of females so why males grows more now this is very important compared to female males height grows more the reason is 
we have seen it already due to the growth of uh, greater growth potential uh, a growth spurt which is coming in between the puberty is uh, varies in the male and female okay so now boys start the pubertal growth or growth spurt later boys attain the higher growth velocity the reason is if you look at the pubertal states the growth spurt of female that is before menarche whereas growth spurt which comes in male that is after spermatogenesis okay so that makes the difference the earlier menarche so that usually that leads to lesser gain weight uh, lesser gain of the height so peak height velocity is slower in girls that is 8.3 cm per year compared to the boys which is 9.5 cm per year so boys have a longer duration of pubertal growth two years more hence they usually attain higher height now this is actually how to plot the parental height so in this case see the target height that means after putting the values in the formula of parental height mean parental height so we got a target height over here 173 somewhere around okay so target height is 173 at the end of the 18th year so this is plotted around the 18th year now if you look into this child the child is moving towards the target height okay presently this is plotted 17th year at the 17th year is come over here uh, hopefully by the 18th year he will attain here so his growth velocity is right okay height velocity is uh, absolutely fine okay so this is how you have to plot it now how do how you will do a confirmed diagnosis of a pathological start short stature so we have got two important short stature one is familial another one is constitutional that we will discuss in detail later now the physio uh, the constitutional is also normal it is also called as physiological short stature and familial is also normal that is that depends on the growth potential of that particular family but what is more dangerous is pathological short stature now how you confirm a diagnosis of a pathological short stature number one is by calculating the height velocity in any pathological condition there will be reduction in the height velocity this is the importance of the group <coughs> this is the importance of growth chart also okay growth chart gives a very clear picture of a pathological see in case of familial short stature also growth is steadily increasing according to growth potential in case of constitutional short stature the height is compared to less before puberty and after the puberty suddenly the height rises increases and by the end of the 18th year it reaches a target height but this will not happen in case of pathological short stature there will be so many up uh, so many up and downs okay that we will see so how to confirm it is by calculating the height velocity if any pathological condition there will be reduction in the height velocity so therefore we have to identify the height velocity growth flattening is defined as a downward crossing of the two percentiles or centiles on a growth curve and height velocity falls below the 25th, 25th percentile what do you mean by growth flattening growth flattening means it is defined as downward crossing of the a uh, height when you plot by two percentiles on a growth chart or on a growth curve or chart and uh, the height velocity falls below uh, 25th percentile height velocity now we are talking about velocity in one year how much is gain weight if that is falls below 25 percentile so that is usually called as growth flattering now this is a very important aspect so how you will calculate the growth how you will calculate the height velocity okay so for the identification of the short stature we have got three important things number one is plotting on the height chart number two is understanding or finding out the target height by means of parental <coughs> height by using the formula third one is by calculating the height velocity third one is by calculating the height velocity so how will calculate the height velocity uh, height velocity is nothing but change in the height in centimeter divided by change in the time in years how many years change uh, change in the time change in time in year so that we will see assess the incremental growth over the time assess the incremental growth over the time that is 
if a child is 5 years of old and the height is 100 cm and by the 7 years its height should be 110 cm suppose okay 5 years and 7 years 5 6 7 so now in 3 years the height which is increased only 10 cm okay so in 1 year the average height which is increased only 3.3 cm ideally you have to calculate for 1 year so usually when you calculate the height velocity it should be calculated for 1 year but you can calculate it for the 6 month also okay you can even calculate for 6 month in 6 month see ideally suppose we know that in 5 years it should be 10 cm in 7 years it should be 110 cm 10 cm a child is there in the 5 year the height is 100 cm in the 7 year the same child the height is 110 cm so 10 cm increase is there now how this increase took place okay so if you take over the 3 years it is 10 cm if you take for 1 year it is 3.3 3.3 cm same if you take for 6 month every 6 month the increase is till less so like this you can go on calculating but you can you can calculate it for the 6 month also but below that like 2 month 3 month uh, is not good because you cannot assess the height in a such a short duration of 2 month 3 months 1 month etc 6 month is the minimum okay now because there may be some intermittent factors which hinders the height so therefore 6 month below 6 month the calculation is not good now we should know the normal range so this is one example i have given now we should know the normal range uh, this is according to the western standard okay may not be completely get fit into the indian standard <coughs> now usually the child will gain the height height 24 cm in the first year first year of the life 12 cm in the second year of the life 6 cm in the third year of the life and 5 cm per year from third year to puberty now if the child comes at Uh, what do you say five years usually he has to gain at least 5 cm per year 5 cm per year okay 5 cm starting from 3 year to puberty till puberty okay so after puberty we need to refer uh, uh, we need to refer for the chart so that is different now here the child is coming at the age of 5 years and 5 years it is 100 and 7 years it is 110 that means 10 cm but usually according to this the growth velocity uh, according to the height velocity he would have been gained 15 cm he would have gained 15 cm okay so therefore height velocity is not according to the age here now if you look into the indian standard suppose if you look into the indian standard 218 study was conducted in the north indian schools this is the study conducted in the boys the peak height velocity is 7.8 at 12 to 13 years and in the females it is 6.8 to 6.8 in 10 to 11 years so it was later in the boys and earlier in the girls but in another study 5 to 17 years children which includes 5 to 17 years children height velocity for the boys and the girls was higher at 5 years in the girls declined till 8 years peak at 10.5 years and then declined to 0.3 cm at 17 years for the boys it is declined till 10.5 years peak at 13.5 years 6.8 cm and then again declined to 1 cm by 17 years this is the difference between girls and boys okay in the boys the decline is there but it is 1 cm but whereas in girls decline is too much it is 0.3 cm suppose we are not having the height velocity percentage chart height velocity percentage chart then we have to calculate by another method what is that 2 to 4 years height velocity is less than 5.5 cm per year 4 to 6 years height velocity less than 5 cm per year 6 year to puberty height velocity less than 4 cm per year for the boys and 6 years to puberty for the girls height velocity less than 4.5 cm per year so this gives the a idea of a height velocity okay it is not see it is not sufficient to say that this is a short stature and you have to say what is the cause okay if it is pathological cause cause is pathological then you have to use this height velocity 
when you plot this according to the height velocity then you come to know when which particular year the height was fallen down and what is the cause suppose a child has suffered with a chronic disease during that particular year and height velocity is also showing that in that particular year the child gained less weight and less height rather so then we can say that this is short stature attained because of a, that particular disease chronic disease so these are the basics in the next we will see the further part of the same thank you very much